Hello, friends, Vujosevich here as we uh, run into some interesting Nether Spider story and choice with our Dragon Priest here on the ladder. I'm going to probably take Hungry Dragon. Uh, I don't like that, but I think we're going to. I don't want Nose Dormu. And I don't think that we're really going to have much of an opportunity to do much of anything else. So I think that's kind of the, the play that we have to go with. We have, yeah, that's that's really not good for us. Um, we have no way to deal with the 3-4. If we had a pain, that'd be great, but... I mean, we would have pained that happily, I think. Have our opponent stuck at that 2 mana, but... This, this could just start running over us right now. And that would be a very bad thing. Very, very bad thing. But that's okay. We can hopefully, hopefully survive. The issue, the idea was... The idea was the other two stunk. The other two choices stunk, but... Hungry Dragon would then be able to, if we had, if we had continued to have some sort of board presence, we can play a little one drop and then deal with it easily. The issue now is we're going to give a Shaman a one drop, which might just be able to give massive value for Flame Tongue Totem, which would obviously be the worst. So we're going to need to get a little bit lucky here, I think, on our draw, because we don't have much of anything to do right now. We're going to, oh, that is much better. That is, yeah, that's a, we said we need to get a little bit of, we need to get, you know, we've been working on our top decking skills and it looks like they pay off every once in a while. So there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think it's one of the things in Hearthstone. I think that my game has really been lacking lately. It's just top decking really strongly. And I think this matchup is actually okay. As much as I get away from the sarcasm. I think this matchup is, is closer to 50-50. Uh, one of the seasons, a few seasons ago now, January, I played a whole bunch of Shaman pushed to, not Legend, but single digits on the ladder, which is okay. This is also kind of okay, to be honest. Oh, this is... I kind of want a Cleric, Shield, and Heal. And the idea behind that is then, wait, how much will it be? Two, four, six? Can I get him up to... Oh, yeah, we can get him over six. Yeah, and the idea is then I'll have I'll have my one taunt over six. As a, The other option is just to play Draconoid OP, knowing then that our opponent uh, is not overloaded because they had to coin out the Jade Spirit because they were overloaded from the Jade Claws. And knowing that our opponent's then going to probably have to hex this, and we've already squelched. But I kind of like the idea of of doing this. It is a little bit of draw. Hey, that's not the worst thing in the world to see. And now we'll go ahead and do this. Oh my goodness. There we go. More draw. Not that it's, you know, Northshire Cleric cycling itself for three mana is really not the best. At that point, we might as well just play a Loot Hoarder or... Um, What's the other one? A novice engineer. Like, honestly, at that point, you're not really getting that much value out of it. And against the Jade Shaman, I think that one of the big keys is Dragonfire, to be honest. We're going to have to... We're going to have to work to make that either combo with an Azure Drake. Obviously, very hard to do. Oh, there was a Hex. And you know what? That's okay, because now this is a very good turn six to kill the 3-4. Um, and now everything can kind of trade into the cleric, which is fine. I'm not bothered. I mean, I'm bothered by it. And the fact that there's two, four, six power on board is also kind of upsetting, but I think bookworms probably as good as it's going to get here. Right? Like at this point, we just might as well. And then if our opponent just trades in and plays something with three health, we just Blackwing Corruptor. Like, if they ever throw down a Tunnel Trog, which I don't expect. Not even that's the best. I don't know why I chose that as the target. But let's say our opponent plays another Jade Spirit or something like that. Then we can just Blackwing Corruptor in the 3-3. Three, three, and then we're kind of off to the races. Because all of these will have to trade into our 3-6. Because Bookworm's, Bookworm's pretty good. There we go. And now everything trades into the 3-6, right? 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 <laughs> yeah, of course it does. It has to. Otherwise, you just start healing and get way too much value off of it. And that's fine. That, that's to be expected. Oh, we can clear the board. Do we want to clear the board? 
What else could our opponent do? We could Draconoid Operative. Um, how greedy are we going to get with this Bran? Uh, no, we can't get, we can't start thinking, oh, what if I top deck perfectly? That's not how the game works. Uh, I think, you know, this was the plan all along. I think we'll heal that out of freebie range. Do a little bit of a ping. Not that, not that re that really matters. We're not in a position at all. Maybe if our opponent completely flubs this turn, which I don't think that's possible, and we top deck rag, we can start thinking about pushing for... There we go. That's more like it. That's the sort of thing that we kind of expect to be seeing. And obviously, four health is no good for... For us right now. However, now we have some options, actually, because we got the old Defender of Argus. Uh, we could Hungry Dragon, see what comes out of it. Then Defender, attack in. Uh, AoE is pretty strong, though. And I also kind of just like the Shadow Word Death here. I like the Shadow Word Death here because then it'll kind of promote the idea from our opponent that they can just throw down another Jade Chieftain. And then we, then we Dragonfire Potion it, and then we're off to the races. But then the question is, if we do this, what else are we doing? And then that answer has to be Draconoid OP. Okay, Th that's honestly like, that's my thought. Whoa, Flame Wreath. Jade Lightning. Okay, so these are in the deck. I'm going to take a four mana 7-7. Seven, because seven, who doesn't love those guys? That's fine. That's a trade. I got a two for one. I basically two for one Blackwing Corruptor. Oh, I guess like... Actually, no, because Blackwing Corruptor took out two separate Jades that got summoned, which is still pretty good. You know what? That's still pretty decent value. Four mana, seven, seven is going to be good, though. Our opponent already played a Hex. Nothing great. Nothing great from our opponent. That's all I need. Just nothing excellent. <laughs> you know? No, that, no, we're not asking too much. Just don't play anything excellent. And we knew that there... And we actually, we found out a lot with this. Oh, and there's a Hex. You're not going to like this. You are not going to like this. Oh, look at that little pirate card. Um, We can just, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and throw down some dragons. And tell our opponent that we are... Uh, I'm not going to play Cleric because I kind of want to get a draw with it. Like, I want to guarantee, like, I want to combo, like, a three-mana Northshire combo. So there's no more hexes. There are Jade Lightnings. But I mean, double Jade Lightning. Uh, double Jade Lightning actually messes us up pretty badly because it goes five six. Then I have to trade in. Yeah, no, double Jade Lightning is really bad for us. <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt about it. Even one Jade Lightning is five. Never mind. One J. Even one Jade Lightning is no good. Oh, Terrifying. Uh, we're pushing face, right? <laughs> this is 10, 11, 12. Uh, do we need rag? Do we need rag and face? I'm honestly thinking Azure Drake. 11 to face. Taunt up. The Twilight Guardian and the Azure Drake. And then I'll use this. Uh, I, I can't even use that. Then I'll throw out the Northshire. Oh, no. Our opponent has too much power on board, though. Oh, that really stinks. Uh, this com comes out as a 6-6. Six, six. If we had another Shadow or Death, we could easily do this. But there's just too much on board right now. What if we just leave the 5-3 somehow? My issue is if I start trading, how do I actually win? You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you have to try and win somehow. And maybe I'm just kind of all in. The issue is our opponent has not played a lot of AoEs. So they're kind of going to get tons of crazy value. And I'm overloaded, so I can't even do this right now. That's awful news. We just need a huge dragon and to get all this damage into face. Uh, that maybe is going to be enough. Okay. There's a good chance we lose because I didn't think of anything excellent that would have gotten us out of that. But that's still a big taunt. And I still have a 7-7 seven, seven after the big taunt. Maybe that'll be enough. And I completely forgot the fact that I'm overloaded as a priest. I don't know how I could do that. I don't know how I could ever 
how I could ever manage forgetting that. Uh, we'll be okay though. We will we'll be okay. And and now we wait. I mean, there's no hex to punch through. There could just be double lightning storms, why not? Double lightning storm basically, well not basically, it does win the game for our opponent. Jade Lightnings are still out there. There's so much still out there. Oh my, did I just lose? Oh, I'm more than lost. That's like a ridiculous loss. Oh no, off by, lost by one. Wow, lost by one. That's a sad loss, but you know what? I oh wow, wow, definitely, definitely unexpected bloodlust after all of that, and I wasn't, I wasn't prepared to drag and fire down. If I had Holy Nova, it would have been a different story. But ooh, that is sad. That's a sad loss, everyone. But you know what? Sometimes you got to take those, right? And sometimes, if you've made it this far into the video and you haven't already, you should hit that big old red subscribe button. I'll see you next time. <laughs>